Hey guys, Stanford here with First Updates Now, and today I'm with Team 3647, the Millennium Falcons. We're going to go through some of the awesome stuff they've got on this robot. A really, really cool cube shooter, a telescoping arc, and some auto online stuff. And I've got Eric, Ethan, and Edison here to walk me through some of that stuff. So stay tuned for all that and more on another episode of Behind the Bumpers. This video on fun was brought to you by viewers like you, and also by the following. Discover how you can graduate debt-free at Kettering University with Kettering's amazing co-op employment programs. Those accepted into Kettering University can apply for a robotic scholarship providing up to an additional $5,000 a year in tuition assistance. Head on over to kettering.edu first to learn more, schedule a visit, or apply. Fun is continuing to grow and looking for new ad partners for the 2024 season. If your organization has a positive message to spread to our over 250,000 unique viewers, go to firstupdatesnow.com slash contact to get more information. All right, so Eric, take us through this awesome little cube shooter. So after Idaho last year, we decided to add this cube shooter in order to um, basically get a lot more cycles out of, um, out of our match. So we added this cube shooter, which lets us pick off cubes off the ground, um, reducing our time for cycles dramatically. So um, it just intakes it through these two rollers, picks it up, and then we can shoot the cubes up to the floor, the second level, or the upper level of the grid. So um, that just helps us dramatically with our cube cycles. Yeah, really cool stuff. These guys use this to great effect all the time. Um, so next up, we're going to go through the telescoping arms. So go ahead and take us through that. Yeah, so from the beginning, we knew that we wanted kind of a, a more simplified design. So to start off, we kind of did this pink arm right here, and we connected it to two billets and a big sprocket. And we basically have this big telescoping arm right here, and it allows us to hit all three stages as um, each level um, actually goes up. Uh, to our control. Um, because of that and this cable carrier right here, we found that this design was very simplified and let us hit all three stages with pretty much just great ease. Uh, and it works pretty well. And so this was a concept that was thought of pretty early on? Uh, yeah, so because of our previous years, we had already, well, we had always had some kind of like complex CAD. Uh, we kind of just this year wanted to have a um, a more simplified design that we could easily manufacture and uh, patch up when anything happened to it. All right, awesome stuff. And now, Edison, go and take us through some of the limelight auto aim you guys got going on. Yeah, so we used a limelight here. It shines some green light on the reflective tape, and then we use that to center our robot to the uh, poles for the cones wherever we are in the field. So whenever we're on one side of the field, we're trying to score all the way on the other side of the field. It lets us do that with like really easily. And these LEDs too, usually you might think, oh, they're just cosmetic, but they help us because they turn blue when you're aligned. They tell you uh, whether you have a cone or a cube in the intake. So it's a lot of score really easily um, compared to when we're all manual. We also auto align when we intake. So we automatically face the, um, the cone. And then we also like automatically spin to face us when we're scoring. So we just try to automate a lot of things, take as much of the factors away from the driver as possible. And it's really helped us out a lot. You said you guys use the retro tape a lot. Um, do you ever have any issues with not being able to track based on lighting conditions? Well, no. Usually when we get to competition, we always try to tune it based on the surroundings. So sometimes when the lighting is different, you know, the green light doesn't shine as well. And then, but we can, uh, we can tune it through software. It's been absolutely incredible here at Tidal Tumble. Um, and definitely check these guys out at Beach Blitz later this season and definitely going into next season. So thank you guys very much for allowing us to interview today and good luck with the rest of your competition. This video on fun was brought to you by viewers like you and also by the following. Discover how you can graduate debt-free at Kettering University with Kettering's amazing co-op employment programs. Those accepted into Kettering University can apply for a robotic scholarship providing up to an additional $5,000 a year in tuition assistance. Head on over to kettering.edu slash first to learn more, schedule a visit, or apply. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Most live shows can be found on the First Updates Now YouTube channel, live competitions at twitch.tv slash firstupdatesnow, and join our Discord at discord.gg slash firstupdatesnow. Check our other social offerings on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter.